Hi, how's it going? I'm Malachi Greb, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation. Today, we're going to be taking you guys through RoboGuide, how to get started with RoboGuide, and basically just show you guys how to uh, create a robot self from scratch and kind of give you some details as we go along. Let's jump right into this thing. So we're going to go ahead and open up RoboGuide. So RoboGuide is Fanex simulation software, programming software uh, for a PC. So we got RoboGuide opened up here. We're going to exit off this, and then we're going to go up here to File, New Cell. So we're going to create a new cell from scratch. There are a couple different options in the way that you can create a cell. So for this particular application or this instance, we're going to just use a Handling Pro type of application. There are other options like you have Palette Pro, Welding Pro, and these are just like application specific things and they give you special tools. So like Palette Pro gives you the ability to like do palette applications and set the orientation of boxes, give you box dimensions, all that good stuff. So we just hit next, next. Okay, from here you can actually create this cell from a brand new from scratch cell or Another thing you can do is a file backup. So if you see right here, you can create a, a robot from a file backup. What you need is an all the above backup out of the actual robot that you have or a robot that you've worked with in the past. So this is the option right here, create a robot from a file backup. This is generally the way to go if you have an actual robot that you plan to load this into. Uh, just because more things are going to align, more things are going to be appropriate. So you may have hardware that's not necessarily in the one you select here, but if you do an all the above backup and pull that from that robot, then uh, you'll have all the proper hardware options and everything already uh, built into that. So we're going to go next. And so the thing that we're going to look at here is the version of the robot controller that you're going to work with. So if you have an actual controller, uh, you can select the version here if you can't get an all the above backup for some odd reason. But you definitely want to be programming and doing your features in the proper backup. So we chose a V9 uh, 30IB controller. This right here is kind of just saying do you want to add any of these uh, application tool packages to it. Or you can load in your own uh, tooling to your robot as well. We're not going to really worry about loading anything in right now. But we'll go, go ahead and move to the next thing. So from here, you, this is your uh, robot arm, so your robot model. This is the actual mechanical unit. One thing to keep in mind, the robot controller that you select will change the robot arms that you can see in this list right here. So if we go back here, so see where the V9.1 R30IB plus, this gives us this list of uh, robots here. So if you don't see the robot you're looking for, that may be the reason why. You may not have the right model number controller or the right model number robot arm. So we're going to choose this LR Mate 200 ID 14L. So the 14 in this gives you your payload. So it's 14 kgs, which is close to about 30 pounds. So from here, if you you can select some other uh, features of the robot, like you can see right here, there's a rail unit. You can add an auxiliary axis. We're going to just kind of skip past this. We're not going to worry about adding that at this point. So here in this menu, you have the ability to select different options for the robot. So if you have like advanced Ethernet IP or DCS or uh, as you can see like right here IR vision DCS is one of the options advanced DCS package like that's a very common package that we use with our robots so we just go ahead and uh, select whatever options that we're gonna need we're not gonna really change anything in this menu this is kinda just some background stuff if you have something weird or, or ordered some different modification this menu here just a summary says it right there at the top you're gonna be able to see like the version of the uh, controller that you have the robot model your robot options all those different things just give you one last verification that everything that you want is present and we're just gonna go ahead and uh, finish this thing out and it's gonna generate us a robot cell so one thing that's really cool is this robot does not actually know the difference between it being a real robot or not so this is creating a virtualized robot, like say for instance like a VMware type of application would. So right now it's generating this virtual robot. And one other cool thing that you can do is you can actually make this robot communicate with a PLC. Uh, we've done it in the past. There's not a huge value to, for us, but it could be pretty valuable for somebody else who doesn't have access to that robot. Here it, you just have to select in the robot what payload it has. Now different models of robots 
uh, will have different things here. So it may say what flange type do you have, or um, like this one did with the what KG payload robot did you have. Sometimes you have to select stuff in there, sometimes you don't. Uh, I think majority of the time you do though. So it's kind of just finalizing its configuration. It's kind of a lengthy process because like I said, it's generating uh, the entire uh, robot cell and physical virtual robot that is. All right, so we got our cell here opening up. Like I said, it takes a good minute to, to load this up and depending on how fast your computer is, it can take much longer. So over here is like your organizer, just like any other software. Here's your robot. So uh, we're gonna zoom in, rotate, all that good stuff. Uh, if you have not used this software, I suggest that you uh, go to the help menu, the view, and then mouse commands. So you're going to need these mouse commands to really get familiarized with this. Now, if you use CAD softwares in the past, you'll probably get up to speed with this fairly quickly. But as you can see, you want to be able to pan left and right. You want to be able to zoom in and out. You want to be able to rotate around the object, uh, especially once you start adding things in there. So there's your pan function. So just utilize that the, the, the mouse commands to be able to do that. So we're going to select our teach pendant right here. So our teach pendant is the, the device that's used to program the robot to set up configuration. This teach pendant is actually the exact same one that you would use on site. So uh, super cool. It's, it's like pretty much a one-to-one -one ratio. There is no difference between using this and using a, uh, a real-world teach pendant as far as its functionality and its menuing system. All right, so I want to show you something really cool that you can do. Uh, this gives you the, basically the joint angles, and you're able to grab the robot and move it by joint angle, which is a super cool feature. Uh, to be honest, there was a long period of time that I didn't even know this was a function, and uh, it, it definitely has it, its value for sure. So you're able to grab each individual joint and move it about its, its degree angles. One other thing that you can do, which this is what I've used in the past a lot, is if you click right here on the flange, this black part right here is known as the flange, it, it, this triad will pop up and so there's this thing called the right hand rule and it basically you have your Z, your your X, and your Y uh, and it, it, it's flipped in this direction here as you see whenever you are uh, in a tool mode. So you're able to grab this Z direction or the X direction or the Y direction you're able to move it about the Cartesian coordinate system so that is the, that is the space at which the robot refers to all of its positions. It's the same thing as like a coordinate system for uh, our planet. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. We have a lot more videos coming out regarding this topic. I think the next video, we're going to start a uh, FANUC program. And so we're going to start create a program from scratch and kind of just show you all some uh, programming techniques and whatnot. So uh, if you want to get involved in some of these um, different episodes and whatnot that we have, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you see all these new ones that come out. And if there's any other particular videos that you would like to see, put them down in the comments below because uh, we want to make the type of content that is useful for the people of the industry or students who are coming into the industry. Um, so just ask anything that you want to ask, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.